in order to do something new, you have to first be able to imagine it and imagine it's possible. And the real trick is knowing the difference between the things that are hard laws in physics and the things that you should push on to try to change. I'm Jarrett Morton. I'm the program manager for the hybrid propulsion group here at the Spaceship Company. My team's responsible for, for basically the system that gets Spaceship to space. Uh, that's made up of a lot of different components. It's the rocket motor, it's the tanks, it's the valve, it's all kinds of bits and pieces. But ultimately, my team's responsible for getting the ship and its passengers safely to space. My team is made up of people from big aerospace, NASA, smaller companies, uh, people with backgrounds in super rigorous you know, process control for critical systems, and also people who really thrive on doing new things and experimenting. So we've been working on this propulsion system for many years. We've worked with a lot of different teams and, and even worked on rocket motors with different fuel types and in the end we've brought more and more of the hybrid propulsion manufacturing design and, and testing uh, in-house to the spaceship company and so now for example we build our own rocket motors right here in-house we do all the component manufacturing we do the assembly we do the uh, proof testing and then we take them out back in the desert and do hot fire testing here as well long before we came along the aerospace industry has been spending billions of dollars, decades of time, learning the hard lessons of, of manned spaceflight. And we don't ignore those things. We, we're subject to the same laws of physics as they are, and so we really try to take the best practices from those lessons and add to it, you know, our own innovation. Uh, we're trying to solve old problems in, in new ways and come up with solutions that are not only a step forward, but also pay attention and, and learn from the history. Sometimes the most simple solution uh, takes the most innovation to get just right. And what makes a hybrid propulsion system simple and more reliable is that basically you're separating your fuel and your oxidizer from each other um, in a safe state, and you're only mixing them together to create combustion at the last minute, just when you need it to create thrust, and before that you're, you're keeping them separate. And the other nice thing is you can shut it down at any point in the burn, and you can glide spaceship back home from any point in its trajectory. And of course, where you have simplicity, uh, you have additional safety, and that's important for our end product. While our spaceship is finishing construction, we're taking the opportunity to do a few last minute improvements on our propulsion system, and that's an exciting time to be in. We've made game-changing progress on a simple and elegant solution uh, to, to power Spaceship 2 and to get our customers and, and hopefully one day our friends and families to space.